Hi Aries, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Aries, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Aries. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy of someone who is wanting to move into a more peaceful place. This is someone who wants to leave behind the drama, the conflict. They are trying to move on. They're trying to move forward. They're trying to accept something and go with the flow. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups, Water Energy. The chariot cancer energy and the six of cups water energy so there's someone here you had some sort of connection with um you could be trying to move on from this uh with the six of cups it's a past energy it's like you have history with this person and there's still feelings there you know this person often thinks about you they are still very emotionally connected and attached <clears throat> with the six of cups it could even be like a past life connection very deep emotional connection here and they feel very nostalgic when it comes to you um, they could be distance or you could have distance yourself from them you know with the chariot being here it, it looks as if this person could be coming towards you um, this could be someone who wants to move into a good place with you again you know like they want to especially if you guys had conflicts they want to move on from that they want to make up with you because you also have the knight of cups which is an energy of someone who is coming with a peace offering someone who's coming with romantic intentions wanting to kind of soften you up trying to win you over there's that kind of energy here they want to move this connection into calmer waters so let's clarify these cards aries Okay, so we have the Magician and this is Mercury Energy, Gemini, Virgo Energy. So yeah, this person is trying to, you know, manifest a connection with you. They're trying to take back control of the situation. And with this card, they, they are trying to impress you. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords, Air Energy, the Eight of Swords, Air Energy, and the Eight of Wands, Fire Energy. So yeah, this person could be... Um, initiating contact a lot of communication coming in here you know this is someone who still wants to move forward with you and with the knight of swords showing up here as well as the chariot they could actually be chasing after you there's a very there's almost an aggressive energy here like this person really wants you and they're willing to do whatever it takes you know there's an energy here of taking no not taking no for an answer this is someone who who who's very sure that you're the one for them they're very decisive and they've got their mindset on you um, they really want success and victory with you in this connection. Um, we do have the Eight of Swords here. So this person is like they have thought about this a lot. And again, acknowledging that they may have victimized you at some point. Um, you may have felt very anxious in this connection and decided to free yourself from something because it was no longer working for you. And they are aware of that this is someone who is afraid that, you know, they may have missed their chance with you, but they, they still want to give it a try. Um, this is someone who it looks very much like they could be trying to win you back or stop you from walking away. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a, an oracle card for you, uh, Aries.
Okay, so we have Meditate and Contemplate. New Moon in Pisces. we have reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life it, it does look like this is a past person who wants to reconcile with you and you may want to take time to kind of meditate contemplate with the pisces energy really just taking time to listen to your intuition about the situation before making a decision or allowing someone back into your life okay so let's see Okay, we have strength of character and moral integrity. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experiences of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Okay, so this person does um, believe that it, you're not going to make it easy for them, that it, there may be some obstacles that they will need to overcome in order to regain your trust, affection. But they are seeing it as, as something worthwhile. They're seeing it as something that they're willing to do. Um, there's also an energy of them coming with more genuine in intentions. Like this is someone who is operating from a place of integrity. If they hurt you in the past, they are going to own up to that. They are going to take accountability and apologize. This is someone who, who really wants to do right by you. Like this is someone who has really learned from their um, th this experience. So I'm going to pull out a card for your advice. Uh, Aries. Okay, so we have surrender to stress. No, surrender stress. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to your center. Okay, so there's again a message kind of like this one that says to meditate and contemplate. Coming back to your center. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you. Aries. I hope you have a really, really good day, Aries. Bye, Aries.